The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Psalm 121, 8. This the light of my Ready. 
You wanna help me pack the rest of my stuff for the trip? Let's do it! <laughs> okay. Think I'm ready. Off to the airport! The airport is the place where planes take off from! Well, I guess I'm up, up, up and away! Uh-oh. Did you hear that? It looks like it might be storming outside. I didn't even notice! If it's storming, then our plane ride might be bumpy. That would be scary. Or our plane ride might get delayed or canceled. That means our plane will take off much later or not at all. That would be really sad. None of that is very much fun to go through. I don't really want to be scared or sad. I just want to be happy and excited to see my family. Have you ever had to go through something that was scary or sad? I wonder, can you be sad or scared, but also feel like things will be okay? I need to keep wondering about this while we check out our Bible story for today. Today's Bible story comes from Job chapter 1. A man named Job loved and respected God very much. He obeyed God every chance he got. Job had seven sons, three daughters, and a lot of servants. He also had a lot of sheep, camels, oxen, and donkeys. He was the greatest man in the land. God was very happy with Job. Job was a really great guy, but not everyone believed this. They thought Job only loved God because God gave Job everything he could ever want. What if Job lost everything? Would he still love God? Then one day, Job did lose everything. A messenger came and told Job that his servants were attacked and his oxen and donkeys were stolen. A second messenger said a fire burnt up his sheep and servants. A third messenger said that more servants were attacked and his camels were stolen. Finally, a fourth messenger came and told Job that his children were having a party and a strong wind came, made the house collapse. None of Job's children survived. All this made Job extremely sad. He tore his clothes and shaved his head, but then he did something unexpected. He worshiped and praised God. Even though he lost everything he had, Job knew God was with him. Even when Job got painful sores all over his body, even when his wife told him to blame God for everything that happened, Job trusted God was with him through it all. And Job was right. God was watching over Job the whole time. We all go through things that make us happy and excited and also sad and mad and uncomfortable. We can trust that God is with us no matter what we go through. Wow! If I was Job, I would have felt scared and sad and maybe even mad. How about you? What Job went through was scarier than flying through a big storm, but he knew God was with him the whole time. Hey! I think it will be the same for me. Even if the plane ride is a little bumpy, or we take off later than we thought, or even if we can't travel at all, I know God will be with me. Wowzers! That does make me feel better. And look, you're right, Joe. The storm passed. It's not storming anymore. I've got to go to the airport with my family now and catch my plane. Let's go! We're at the airport. It's time to start our trip. Cali is going to Cali. It makes me feel really good to know that no matter what happens on this trip, God will be with me. God is with us no matter what we go through. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Peace out.